Hello, beautiful soul. <clears throat> I just finished the Best You Yet workshop for three weekends in a row, working with some beautiful souls from around the world. And one of the things that came up was, how do we let go of some of the limiting beliefs that came from childhood? And there's this one concept <laughs> that really, really stuck out because I am a former people pleaser. I did everything in my power to try to fit in, to try to say the right things, to be accepted, to make sure that I was not outshining someone else. Um, I was a people pleaser. And what, what came up during our session is we can do everything we think we need to do to please one group. Let's say that's your family, right? Maybe you went down a path of study in school or got a certain career or stayed close to home to please your family. And then there might be a group of friends that knew you as one way growing up, but as you grow older, you realize, I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be around them and have to maintain that version of me as you're trying to evolve into your authentic self and really be your true self. And so the thing that came up is, well, now I have a new set of friends, people who are starting to see me for the real me. And the question is, what do you do? Because if I fully embrace my new peer group, that means I'm leaving the other people behind and they're going to, you know, have their own opinions about what that means and how that looks and who are you to all of a sudden be blah, 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 right? Do you know what this is like? Um, there just comes a moment when you have to realize one key thing and that's this. You can't please everybody, at least not all the time. You might be able to hang out with one group of friends and fit into that mold and then when you're around your family, be a different person and satisfy them. And when you're with your work colleagues, you're a different version of you. Sure, you could do that. But is that fulfilling? Is that bringing you a sense of peace, joy? Are you truly living your real purpose? Because with all of the work that uh, I do, it's, it's really meant to help you connect with your authentic self and live authentically. And so, to really reprogram the subconscious mind to believe that I have a right to just be me. I have a right to express myself authentically. I have a right to associate with whom I want to associate. I'm, I have the right to choose the entourage that is on the same path as me, whether that's spiritually or socially. And when we start to make that declaration, it might mean that we're going to exclude some people. And the question is, is that okay for you? Or do you want to get back into those boxes, trying to fit in and please everyone? It's not, a, it's not an easy question, I realize that, and I'm not pretending to have the right answer for everyone. But I do know that when I gave up trying to please everyone, when I gave up the notion that it was even possible or feasible. When I gave up the idea that I had to change myself to make others happy, I got freedom. I became liberated. And it didn't mean that I turned my back on everyone, but it did mean that I got to bring the best of me to every situation. And yes, it's true, over the course of time, there are some people who are no longer in my life. And all I can do is pray and wish them well. I send them blessings. I wish that they have a prosperous and healthy life. And we're not meant to be attached to certain people for all of our lives. It's just not the way it works now. I mean, yeah, maybe when you, when the humans only live to like age 40 something, you wanted to hold on to those people and try to stick with them for the survival of your, your tribe or your family. But now we're living to 80, 90, 100 years. Is it even realistic? Because you evolve. You're not the same person you were 10 years ago, or 20 years ago, or 40 years ago. So it does stand to reason that you're gonna evolve and get new, new peeps around you. So if you want some support in reprogramming your mind and letting go of those old beliefs, check out the link in my bio for the three keys to becoming the hero of your life. This will help you get rid of victim mentality, reprogram your subconscious mind, and rewire your brain to relearn resilience 
and take back control over who you get to be, how you show up in the world, because that is your divine right. You have this divine right as a soul to live this life in accordance with your heart's desires. It's your right to live as your highest self. And if you want some support on that, you can join me on the second Tuesday of the month. I go live in a private Zoom session to coach, to facilitate this reprogramming of the mind. And I lead a guided meditation for healing the inner child, connecting with compassion and forgiveness, and visualizing a future that inspires you. So check out the link in the bio to The Real Self Love Live. And it's probably helpful if you do the life writing exercise before that, where you can start to identify the source of some of those limiting beliefs. And then you bring it into our session and we help to clear them away. It takes a little bit of repetition for some of us, but it is well worth it. So I look forward to seeing you there soon. Much love.